It's very sad to spend your life fighting for something that ain't true. Or maybe not right. It gave me a brand new view to look at the things now. Now you look different because the Bible is something. You've learned something and you think that's the way. But now I've learned to see things different, things different. And I'm very glad for it. The reality of me being a citizen of this kingdom and having all of the rights and all of the privileges that come along with being in the kingdom of God, and that has changed my life. When kingdom citizens understand who they really are and who they represent, then change takes place. Something ought to happen if you know who you are and you understand your man. We've been learning during the sessions about our authority and our position in Christ and in the kingdom as citizens. And now you unite, you unite that with the anointing and the power of God. And power and authority go together. So. Hi, good day. This is Dr. Miles Monroe, and I'm telling you, friends, Pastor Miles right now is traveling through the Caribbean. As a matter of fact, I want to thank you for your prayers while we are away in Jamaica. We'll be speaking there, of course, today, and then we're on our way to St. Martin, which is a French-speaking country, and of course, uh, we'll be there for two days, and then we move on to the beautiful island nation of Curaçao, where we'll be ministering there also for two days. And from there, we fly into Colombia. We'll be in South America for about four days. Uh, and I want you to continue to pray for us. It's going to be a busy trip. Um, of course, we're going to be speaking up to over 60,000 people alone in Colombia. Thank you so much for your support, your prayers, and of course, your dedication to this ministry. When we go out, we go to represent you, the vision God has put in this house. And as you know, the Lord told us to go and transform followers into leaders and leaders into agents of change, and also to do that in third world countries. And every country I'm going to on this trip is a developing country. So thank you so much for allowing us to fulfill the vision while you stand steady here at the foundation praying for us and of course I'll be back with a good report. Now you know I was thinking uh, the number one problem in the Bahamas today is actually anti-social behavior. We call it crime. I think everyone is concerned about what's going on and of course every day we are fed a steady diet of negative news in the newspapers. So many things are happening in our community that we're beginning to wonder what's going wrong. What's even more alarming is that most of these uh, antisocial activities is perpetrated by young people. We hear of, of course, uh, gangs, uh, retribution against each other, uh, killings almost every day, every week. And our young people are in need of direction. And I understand that many of our young people are being recruited into antisocial behavior from the schools. That's right, people are going into the schools to recruit them not just to get involved in gangs, but to actually get involved in uh, sexual issues that are very dangerous, like homosexuality and lesbianism. Our young people are bombarded day and night by so many difficult pressures. And what are we going to do about it? Bahamas Faith Ministries has always been a guiding light over the last 35 years in addressing youth issues. Bahamas Faith Ministries has created what we call Live Youth years ago, which became one of the premier youth development events in our country. That was changed to Youth Alive, which became even more of an impact on our nation 
And of course, we drew together two, 3,000 teenagers over the years, teaching them the Word of God and bringing them into an environment where they can enjoy themselves, but also have an encounter with Jesus Christ. Well, this year, we have a brand new youth pastor. We thank God for Pastor Levard Parks and his wife, Riddell. And this year is the first time that he is going to be overseeing the Youth Alive 2014. We thank God for Pastor Dave Burroughs and the great work that he has been doing. And of course, he'll be assisting uh, with advising our new youth pastor. But this year, we need every one of you to support Youth Alive and to support our new youth pastors and to give them our affirmation that we are behind them. You know that young people, uh, they don't have a lot of resources to give to their work and so we also want to encourage you and remind you that we need to give to support our young people. Now it's very difficult to criticize something that you allow or to actually become angry at a situation that you could have helped. We need to invest in our young people and I pray that today, beginning today, you will help our youth department to reach more than 2,000 teenagers. Our vision is to fill this place with 2,000 teenagers during Youth Alive in July. We need you to help us. We need you, if you are a teacher, to plan to promote Youth Alive in your schools. If you are a youth leader, we want you to begin to promote Youth Alive among the young people. And of course, uh, this year's theme is called Redemption. And there is a flyer available to you today. It's going to be distributed to everyone. And this flyer has on it all the information you need to know about our 2014 Youth Alive. It's called Youth Alive Redemption. There's a tremendous concert that's going to be held on the final evening of Sunday. But of course, there are four days of power-packed sessions for young people. Now, I want you to take some of these with you today. Don't just take one for yourself. Take a few with you and give them to the young people in your family, the young people in your community. Take a stack of them. Take them to your, your friends at work. Also, we'd like for you to spread these around and talk about this and then plan to bring young people with you. This year, I want to challenge BFM members to what I call bring the next generation with you. Bring the next generation with you. We don't want to send young people to utilize. We want every member to bring at least three young people with them to Youth Alive. Uh, you can register with, with the young people. And of course, uh, as uh, members of this church, we got special plans and, and uh, situations designed just for you to bring young people. So please, let's make sure we make a dent in the youth problems in our country by us investing our time, our energy, distribution, and of course, our finances. The budget for this year's Youth Alive has been reduced from over $30,000 to and $40,000 all the way down to about $28,000. And uh, we're looking to believe God that over 13000 of that will come from our church membership here. I, myself, and Ruth, we've pledged to make a commitment to help with that particular budget. We need, we need you. If you love this ministry, the vision of our youth department, the hardworking people there with Brother Lavard, let us show them how much we love them by supporting our young people's event. If you are a business person, if you are, of course, involved in uh, any kind of investment, plant a seed in our youth department, and let's make this year the best youth alive ever. May God bless you. Thanks again for praying for us. I'll see you when I get back. And while I'm away, I will be calling in, checking on you, and of course, to let you know what God is doing. Thanks again. God bless you. And uh, let's make Youth Alive the best Youth Alive in our history. God bless.
has a story. I finally realized I should have been pursuing God instead of searching for a husband. First things first, you know? Every woman has a story of triumph and struggle. One night, my husband beat me so bad. I thought I was dead. All I'm saying, if it wasn't for God on my side. Every woman has a moment when God proved to be the author and finisher of her faith. I thought I would never get over my husband's death. But it's true. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Women of Excellence presents Is Your Story My Story? Saturday, June 28th at 8 a.m. in the William Davis Cafeteria, right here at the Diplomat Center. Welcome Kingdom citizens to another Kingdom News Update. I'm Eva Brown. And I'm Talia Pinder. And we're delighted that you can join us. Calling all Ministry of Helps. There will be a meeting on Thursday, June 26 at 6.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. Please come and support our youth in the following areas of counseling, hospitality, and protocol. Please make a special effort to attend. Do you want to strengthen your walk with God and solidify your spiritual foundation? Then join us at Kingdom Principal School on Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. through 9.45 upstairs in the William Davis Fellowship Hall. The pastors and leaders of Real Men Ministry would like to say thank you to everyone who made the recent Men's Emphasis Weekend a huge success. This includes the entire Real Men Ministry International Leadership Team, Winston Penn and Mrs. Bo of Young Champions, D'Angelo, Todd, Mikey, Agatha, and the video display team, our photographers, Kevin Harris in the graphics department, facilities, fine arts department, Mr. Showtime, and the entire team of panel presenters and pastors who all spoke very well. The next Real Men Ministry International Breakfast is scheduled for July 19th at 8 a.m. in the William Davis Fellowship Hall. And our next Diplomat Paint Project is scheduled for June 28th. Brand new men polo shirts and caps are also available for sale. If you are interested in purchasing any of these items, you can see Brent Lloyd or Pastor David Knowles immediately after the service or get them at our next breakfast event. Thank you for your service and commitment to the 2014 vision and goals of Real Men Ministry. And now for our youth announcements. Please be reminded of the weekly dollar drive for Youth Alive. Someone will be available in the foyer to receive donations immediately after service today. TYC Stages continues every Sunday upstairs in the cafeteria. Young Champions Boys Club Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. P31 Girls Club every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And TYC Friday Night Live every Friday at 7.30 p.m. This week at BFMI, on Monday, June 23rd at 7.30 p.m., plan to be a part of your Kingdom Prayer Congress. On Tuesday, June 24th, there will be a Church Leadership Council meeting. On Wednesday, June 25th at 7.30 p.m., join us for our Kingdom School of Success and National School of Influence. And on Sunday, June 29th at 10 a.m., plan to be a part of your Kingdom Citizen Celebration. Let us continue to pray for the complete healing of Wendell Seymour, Nurse Paulette Cash, Marjorie Reed, and Donalika Martin. Thank you, Kingdom Citizens, for joining us for another Kingdom News Update. I'm Talia Pinder. And I'm Ava Brown. And we're coming to you live from the Bahamas, the, the place, place where God lives. lives.